Hey folks, we are back at Jimmy Joe Savage's Legacy Studios in Eastern Ohio, tastethegoodlife.org, coming up Thursday, October 26th at the Salvo Station in La Trobe. So joining us tonight on our Newsmaker Line, it is Joey DeSalvo. The Washington Institute will be the beneficiary. This is an amazing evening of fine wine and good spirits, incredible cigars, and cuisine that is second to none. Joseph, for the audience that is watching us here tonight, kind of take them back to 1992 when this whole thing started. Good evening. Well, first and foremost, Rob, it's my pleasure to be with you and your great listeners. And, and as I always say, the voice of KDK, Rob Pratt. So thank you for having me on tonight. Well, what started to be just a, an old boy's sit-down dinner with my father's fabulous uh, gourmet Italian food, great wine and cigars has now evolved to be the largest biannual charity event of its kind with the best of food, wines, my father's famous chefs that are all in retirement, they come back to help and give back to a great cause such as Watson Institute next Thursday on the 26th. And it's just a camaraderie like no other, coupled with great cigars uh, from Syndicato, which is our partner and sponsor of some of the world's finest uh, cigars. And uh, we have a cigar roller coming from Cuba out of Miami that will be rolling hand roll cigars. So it's really the best of the best and just all for a great cause. Hey, do me a favor. Let's talk fine wine and spirits before we go any further. I noticed there's a big uh, Pennsylvania whisking, whiskey tasting contest that's going to be happening uh, next week throughout the Commonwealth. Tell me why whiskey has resurged and especially with hometown distilleries becoming even more popular than ever before. What's up with that, Joey? Well, right now, like anything else, there's there's trendy items that, that often come and go, but just like vodka was, and it still is, uh, the white spirit that's uh, been so popular for so many years and always the, the low-calorie drink and, and spirits, uh, and then they created flavored vodkas. But now there's been a surge. The, the brown whiskeys, as we call them, the bourbons, the scotches, it's just come to fruition. And and in regards to the hometown or what we call the, the Pennsylvania distillery, licenses that were just created several years ago people in pennsylvania are able to distill with the passion of having a craft and distilleries just like the the big uh, craze and boom with the crafted beers uh it's given an opportunity for the uh the spirits world in pennsylvania to create a distillery make their own artisanal uh indigenous to pennsylvania and it gives them an opportunity to showcase uh, their passion or their their hobbies and and now hobbies are becoming uh being able to be sold here in pennsylvania under the uh the laws of the distillery license that Pennsylvania tries to stimulate uh, agriculture or, or distillery products to uh, give them a chance to promote and uh, proud to be you know made in Pennsylvania. So they're really, really at a surge right now. And, and brown whiskeys had been not so popular for so many years, but you know, just like at my own restaurant at the Salvo Station, especially showcase the night of the good life next Thursday, uh, we we highlight the best spirits and wines. Uh, uh, that the world has to offer. So we're excited, and uh, and that's, uh, that's just a real big, big, big scenario and a showcase for a lot of these great uh, local crafted people as well as some of the best spirits that come from around the world. Now listen, this is a biannual event. You have it in the fall, you have it in the spring, and this one is going to benefit the Watson Institute, I was quickly. Good people doing good work, and I know that's a good choice, right? Absolutely. The Watson Institute uh, has several, several facilities throughout western Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, but more so their corporate office in Sewickley. Uh, they work with uh, young uh, children from the age of three years old to 21 with special needs, and we're very blessed to have them. And we're uh, going to showcase uh, an event like no other, and hopefully it'll be a great launch pad to raise so much money that evening for this wonderful organization. Best way to plug in and get your tickets while they last, so please go to tastethegoodlife.org. Hey, before we let you go, you're going to join me on the radio on Monday night, October 23rd at 10 o'clock. You'll just be finishing up with some of your wonderful friends that are in the same business of being an owner-operator of an incredible restaurant like the Salvo Station. Tell everybody why you're going to be at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center on Monday night before you join me at 10 o'clock on News Radio 1020 KDK on Rob Pratt Monday night. Joey? Well, the 
you're going to play in the NFL, you want to be part of the NFL or play football, I should say. You want to be part of the NFL. Just like in the restaurant world, there's the Pennsylvania Restaurant and Lodging Association that I'm so proud to have been a member of my family for over 35 years. And I was blessed in 2008 after many years of volunteering and sharing you know, trade secrets and sharing with your colleagues to, to be the best that you can be uh, from all the different various issues that come up in the hospitality industry. I was the state president in 2009 and still sitting on the board of directors. And we're having our annual uh, trade show, which encompasses all the best suppliers, food, wine suppliers, purveyors of many different services that are provided in our hospitality industry. And they'll be showcasing uh, all their talents and uh, their products at the David Lawrence Convention Center on Monday and Tuesday, the 22nd and 23rd of this uh, uh, coming week. And I'm excited to be there with uh, my other hat that I wear, my Good Life Wine and Spirits importers that will be showcasing some of Italy's best wines. And we're excited to be there. And it's it's directed to the, to the uh, industry. So industry people uh, of all walks from uh, hotel managers, owners, restaurateurs, small mom and pop shops they come there to get educated and see all the cutting edge products that are, exist and if you want to stay sharp in your game you want to be there because you'll see a lot of things that you can learn and new products that can enhance your business hey ciao my friend we'll talk to you monday night okay you got it rob god bless salute to everyone all right joey de salvo taste the good life coming thursday to salvo station more information taste the good life.org